Father's Day, and we are celebrating by giving all our dads a few techniques for great grilling. Brian is here this morning with us from Texas Roadhouse to give us a few techniques for how you can cook for dad. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Thank you so much for coming. Absolutely. Okay, so we are talking ribs this morning. That's right. First and foremost, happy Father's Day to all those fathers out happy there. Happy Father's Day. Growing up, I remember my dad used to always barbecue, and one of the favorite things that he would cook would be ribs. So I wanted to come here and share one of the recipes that we do at Texas Roadhouse. Perfect, let's get started. I have my gloves on and my uh, apron, so I'm ready to go. We're ready to rock. Okay. <laughs> First, we wanna add three cups of water. Okay. And we're gonna put that right in there. Three cups of water. That's right, and then we wanna do one cup of liquid smoke. Okay, okay. what we're is liquid smoke? Liquid smoke is really gonna be an additive to give that smoky flavor to the ribs to just enhance it. Ooh, yeah, and okay. then what is this? That's gonna be our barbecue sauce. We're gonna put that on here just a little bit, Oh, okay? he's like, wait. That's right, we're gonna <laughs> wait on back. that. We're gonna okay. wait on that. Sorry. Next, we're gonna season the ribs. <laughs> we're gonna get a, use this dry rub. You could use your favorite dry rub, or you okay. can buy this one at texasroadhouse.com. We're gonna get a good coat on there, and okay. then we'll flip it over if you don't mind. What give it a shot. What kind of ribs are these? These are baby back loin ribs. Okay, so. so you shake it on like this. That's right. You give it a little pat. That's do right. Give, do you give it a little pat? Give it a little pat. You want to okay. rub it in there. That's going to give it all that flavor, okay? All right. That How looks am I doing? that looks great. Like you've been doing this for years. No, oh, I have. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. So we're going to transfer it over to this pan. We want to make sure we put it in a deep pan. And then okay. the next step will be to actually cover it with foil. So I'll oh, grab that. Oh, cover it with foil, okay. That's right. We want to make sure we get all of that steam inside of there to stay locked inside of the ribs to make them nice and moist. A suggestion here is once you put that foil on there to get a damp towel, kind of go along the sides. Yeah. And you want to make sure that it has a nice, even seal to it so all that steam stays in there, okay? Okay. We'll put it in the oven at 300 degrees for about two hours. You want to make sure that it's at least 155 degrees on the temperature. We'll pull it out, then we'll put it on the charbroiler, okay? Okay, so how does that work? So with that, you want to make sure you put a light uh, coat of oil on there, what's called seasoning the grill. That makes sure that the rib doesn't actually stick to the stick grib. Stick to it, okay. That's right. So we're going to cook it for about four to six minutes on the bone side first. Okay. We want to make sure we want to start seeing all those bubbles. It's going to be nice and hot. Mm. Then we'll flip it over. That's when we're going to baste our barbecue sauce on the back side of it. On the back side of That's it. That's right. Okay. And we're going to cook it for another four to six minutes. Flip it over one last time. We want to baste that barbecue sauce on there one last time. The, the thing with that is we want to make sure that the barbecue sauce sticks to the rib and not your fingers. Right, okay, well that sounds easy enough. That's right. Okay, and then the final, the finished product looks like this. That's right, and if you would, grab one of those bones or fall off the bone ribs, like I said, it'll come right off, Ooh, and they're ready to go. Don't forget to take your dad out on Father's Day today. You can have our, our butcher cut a hand cut steak for him or try our fall off the bone ribs. I would eat this, but I've been advised not to because I'm known to make a mess. Oh, that's okay. Food. So they're like, do not eat it on air. <laughs> do <laughs> no not make worries. a mess. Okay, so let's give folks some information about uh, Texas Roadhouse. You all are open today. We are open today. It's a busy day, so you could utilize our call ahead seating. It's not okay. a reservation, but it'll get you sat a little bit quicker. Mm -hmm. And be sure, like I said, take your dad out there, try our made from scratch sides and dressings, and it should be a great dad for, day for dad. Really, really good. Thank you so much Thank for coming for and sharing me. these techniques. Absolutely. We appreciate it. All right, a lot of helpful information for you. We'll post that and a replay of this interview online on our website at click2houston.com. It'll be posted under the video tab a little after the show.